if you have osteoporosis, I want you to listen up because I am not only going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to tell you the three things that the research says will help build stronger bones because a lot of times we are actually doing some of the wrong things. So why are we talking about osteoporosis on an arthritis channel? What's actually interesting is that osteoporosis can actually go hand in hand with osteoarthritis. So what's the difference? So osteoarthritis is a condition of the joints. So your knee joint, your spine joints, your shoulder joints, your hip joints. Osteoporosis is actually a condition of the bones where your bones essentially become a little bit weaker. Now osteoporosis goes hand in hand with osteoarthritis because when people typically have osteoarthritis, they decrease their activity levels. And this is one of the biggest risk factors to developing osteoporosis. So my name is Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm an arthritis specialist. And lately I've been seeing quite a few clients with osteoporosis and they want to know exactly what they can do to actually build stronger bones. Because like I said, a lot of times we think we're building stronger bones when really we're not. So there's three simple principles that we need to know to build stronger bones. And I'm going to tell you what those three things are that you should start doing. Now, one of the biggest things I do recommend if osteoporosis has ever been mentioned to you is to get a DEXA scan, DXA scan. And what that does is that looks at your bone density and your entire body. Most of the um, joints that are commonly affected by osteoporosis are the joints in your spine and your hip joints. Sometimes you can get wrist and forearm affected as well, but a lot of times the main joints that we're prioritizing are your hips and your spine. And what this tells us is it tells us where we need to start focusing in order to build that stronger bone. So getting a DEXA scan and talking to a healthcare professional about osteoporosis is absolutely crucial. So now the three things that you need to know in order to get the most out of osteoporosis treatment. Number one, and I'm actually going to start with this one because this one is ultimately one of the most important and it's exercise, but it's not just walking. There was actually a study, a systematic review that looked at a bunch of different studies. And one of the findings that they found was that people think that just walking and just doing any sort of exercise is gonna help build their bones, when actually that is not the case. Another study looked at just people that were walking and they found that walking had almost no effect on bone strength. Now it's good in other health, for other health reasons, but if you're trying to build bone, just simply walking is not going to do it. And what's actually interesting, one of the most effective treatments for osteoporosis is high impact exercise hopping, jumping, a lot of the things that we're told we cannot do with osteoarthritis. But hopping, jumping, even running, these sorts of things are really good for us. Now, if you can't hop or can't jump because of pain, don't worry. There are ways that we can get around that and we can get you jumping and get you hopping. Jump roping is a great form of exercise if you have osteoporosis. Also, strength training is huge, but not just picking up two pound weights and doing exercises that way. I'm talking about picking up a little bit heavier weights and really working yourself to fatigue. Your bones really like to be stressed. They really like to work hard. And if we're just using these light weights or we're just simply leisurely walking for exercise, that's not going to do it for our bones. I'm going to put an awesome research article below that I love that talks about exercise and osteoporosis. Now, one of the best things you can do is to actually have someone look and create an exercise program for you because it's hard to kind of know if you're going to hurt yourself or it's hard to kind of know where to start. So that is an awesome idea in order to get started because we need that high impact, high intensity. But if we have have pain just walking, then you're probably not ready for any of that yet, but we can absolutely get there. 
So number one is just high impact exercise. Number two is vitamin D. Vitamin D is huge because it helps with calcium. They work hand in hand together. If we're lacking vitamin D, then we're not getting as much calcium into our bones as we need to. So make sure that you are not deficient in vitamin D. If you are, then supplements and things are the way to go. But you want to make sure you're deficient first. Vitamin D also out in the sunshine, getting some of that natural vitamin D too from foods, all that kind of stuff. Vitamin D is huge. And that is one of the things that you absolutely want checked usually through a blood test. Okay, number two is vitamin D. Number three is protein. I just did a blog post and a video on protein because protein is vital, not only for osteoporosis, but for osteoarthritis and just for healthy aging in general. Protein helps increase bone reabsorption. It helps give bone the materials it needs to build them. If we don't have enough protein, then we're lacking that and our bones aren't able to build as strong as we need to. Same thing with our muscles. Protein gives the building blocks to help build our muscles. So they did a study, the Framingham Osteoporosis Study, and they looked at how much protein people are actually getting and what they found was not only were people way under the recommended limit, so I like to use 0.7 times your body weight to figure out protein, but what they found was over four years, loss or lack of protein was significantly correlated with bone loss. So the less protein you're getting, the more bone that you're losing. But the good thing about this is protein is very simple to get. We just have to find the right protein foods for you. So I'm going to put a link below to the video on protein that's going to go way more into depth of what things to look for and the benefits of protein. But Protein is absolutely crucial. If we are not getting enough protein, which almost nobody is, especially as we get older, then we are missing out on a vital component. Because even if we're doing all of these other things and we're not getting enough protein or we're not getting enough vitamin D or we're not getting enough exercise, then we're missing out on just key pieces to helping osteoporosis or even preventing it. So three things, high impact exercise, vitamin D and protein. These three things need to work together in a puzzle, fit all together in order to create stronger bones. So if you need help, go ahead and comment below. I'm also going to put my information below because I do exercise programming for people that have osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, or even a mix of the two. So these three things, we need to get our ducks in a row in order to build stronger bones. So are you building stronger bones or do we need to make a couple of changes? And that's okay if we do. Get that DEXA scan, speak with your primary care physician, speak with a doctor in order to make sure we can run these tests so we can see exactly what is going on. Again, my name is Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and founder of Keep the Adventure Alive. I, this is part of a three part series. So the next two parts, the next part is going to be a full body routine that's going to incorporate some higher impact exercise. So that way you can see how we need to use it in order to make great benefits with osteoporosis. And the third one, I'm going to show you some fun TRX suspension training exercises you can use if you have osteoporosis because that's one of my favorite tools to use, especially when starting out. So this is part one. There are two more parts coming. If you're watching this after it was released, you can check the link below to see the next two videos. Thanks for watching.